Hi, I'm Janelle Therian, and this is my introduction video for EdTech 510. I would like to posit that all teachers are inherently designers, including myself. I'm on the left. Okay, okay, I'm on the right. Teachers design classrooms. We use wall decor, seating plans, and routines, all to best serve our students at that time. Teachers design lessons. We plan, deliver, assess, modify, deliver, assess, plan, modify, over and over again until our lessons are just right. Teachers design solutions. We design solutions for special learners, for English language learners, for behavior considerations, as well as for the use of resources or lack thereof. And myself, I've done all of these in various forms, which has brought me to my current teaching assignment. I teach at Norquest College in Wetaskiwin, Alberta. This is a regional campus. Our main campus is in downtown Edmonton. In my 2.5 years with the college, my assignment has included teaching face-to-face, -face, online, asynchronous and synchronous, and via video conferencing. I've done curriculum development for three face-to-face -face courses, as well as two Moodle courses. This makes it difficult to identify just one way my work is connected to design. Where do I see my design future go? I teach a unique population of adult Aboriginal learners with limited computer and media literacy. We often see memes like this as applying to elderly people. However, those that are not exposed to media and computers at a young age will not acquire those skills, at least not with any ease. As such, I've had to redesign my courses to go back to the basics, as the technology is overwhelming and acts as a barrier to my students. So what I want to do now is introduce technology-based learning in a way that is manageable, low risk, and allows for high success rates. I've acquired the program Adobe Captivate for this purpose, but I'm not sure what the best strategy is. Should I introduce the technology at the onset? Should I include one Captivate lesson per module? Should I use Captivate as a support or standalone? Should I blend Captivate with classroom learning? The options are endless, but what will serve my students best, knowing that they will only get a maximum of two face-to-face -face terms before being tossed into the cyber world of education? So that's my goal for this course. I'm hoping that through the discourse and dialogue and projects that we work on, that I will be able to find some solutions that will best serve my students in this unique situation. Cheers.